It was uh, back in late February and early March. Uh, I live in New York, uh, where's my home, and uh, the New York and also uh, some part of the U.S. entered the close down. We don't have lockdown, unfortunately, but it was closed down. So, um, and I put my kids out of school, and uh, everything is closing. We don't have any uh, future of hope. In sight, we don't know where. Uh, you know, it's just in the blind because there was not enough testing for the COVID. Uh, we don't know what the real situation is. Um, so we all stay home. Uh, so I enter this uh, numbness and also this uh, uh, what I call. I fell into this dark hole and could not get out. Um, I remember I was in New York when uh, uh, September 11 happened. I had this very similar feeling, could not be creative, could not write anything for several weeks. But the difference was uh, uh, with September 11, after what happened was more like looking back at what happened. Uh, but with this pandemic, it's still ongoing. So uh, so at that time, uh, I could not do anything. I. I was working on my sixth opera then. I stopped writing uh, and and then I started to uh, um, create something just on my own and uh, for myself is my own meditation and medication to help myself to get out of the stage of um, darkness and uh, numbness. Um, I have the music first and then I called it a dust in time, I, I mean, speaking to all of you uh, English speakers, a dust in time is wrong grammatically, <laughs> but uh, I like it. I just feel it's, it's a lonely dust. We, are, we all are. Uh, when we look back, we, we felt trapped in that time castle uh, where time, of course, keep moving on. Uh, and our memory, our life, our emotion uh, will be there. Uh, when we look back, uh, for us to revisit. So and uh, so the piece ends up. I was working on it every day, and it became a, a, a an hour long piece uh, because it has something to do with the time. An hour is a circle, uh, so it's sixty minutes, and the piece itself is a palindrome. So at the end, it go back to the beginning, and it could be looped uh, to continuously perform if if there's any brave. Uh, live musicians want to do that for several <laughs> hours, uh, or it could be recorded, um, pre-recorded as an installation. So I had the image of the Tibetan Zen uh, mandala in my head, um, which is a beautiful meditation where it took several months to uh, create this mandala with colorful scents uh, live for several days. Uh, and then they create this perfect, beautiful picture. Uh, you can Google one, you will see it. Uh, and after they finish, that is just half of the journey. And of course, the second half is to erase it, is to demolish it, to return it back to nothing. Of course, we will feel, oh my God, such a beautiful thing. You just destroyed it for all the hard work you put on for several days. Uh, but what taught me is um, a, a, a colorful, perfect world created by sands uh, should return back to dust eventually. But what is left is the memory and the fulfillment and the peace of internal calmness in our heart. And that is more important than just taking a photo or um, seeing this uh, beautiful image forever. So it's same as music, isn't it? Uh, when it starts and when it ends, it will finish. People leave the stage, go back home. But what is left in your mind, in your heart, is what was present. And hopefully it will continue to be in the memory. So this is a dust in time. And uh, I had a great connecting point with uh, Stefan, who trusts my music and my words to take on this project um, to be the first group truly to um, perform it and record it uh, and for the Beijing Music Festival which released a video for their audience and in December uh, we will have the formal release of the video. My goal is simple 
I want this piece to be heard uh, by as many people as possible because it helped me and I know it could help others as well.